Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? There's going to be a, a historic landing on a comet coming up very soon. The European Space Agency, or the ESA, will on September 15th announce which of the five possible sites it has chosen for the first ever landing of a probe from Earth on a comet. You notice it's not the United States and NASA. Under President Barack Obama, NASA has been basically dismantled and the war to control space is slipping away to the Europeans. Now, at present, the landing is scheduled for November 11. Notice this, 11 11 14 will be the day that the probe is scheduled to land on the comet. These numbers mean a lot of things, folks. Folks, the Bible says there will be signs in the heavens. All right? There will be great signs before the Lord returns. So anyway, uh, just keep that in mind. This is just the beginning. You might say, well, a probe. All right, so, so a probe landing on a comet, it is a historical moment. It is a big deal. But Paul, that's not a biblical sign. I'm not saying it is, but what I'm saying is, think about it. When mankind, just think how far mankind's come. We're climbing into the heavens. We've been to the moon. We've got rovers on Mars. Now we're going to put a probe on a flying comet. And get this. What will it, the capabilities be if they're able to land probes on comets? What types of Project Blue Bean type miraculous looking three-dimensional events could be created in the heavens, bringing a strong delusion on the earth? Just saying. Or what types of weapons of war could be attached to space stations, satellites, even comets as they fly by. Well, anyway, this is going to take place. It's, it's slated to take place on November 11. Now, the agency's Rosetta spacecraft met up with the comet 67P after chasing it for 10 years through the solar system. The, the scout is going to be carrying with it a laboratory about the size of a refrigerator. It's designed to descend to the comet, harpoon itself to the surface, and carry out experiments using a battery of 10 instruments. Now, five candidate zones for the landing have been scrutinized intensely by the Rosetta, zooming around the comet at a height of 31 miles from the comet's surface. It's been studying Comet 67. So the selected spot must be relatively flat, clear, stable, and able to handle this 220-pound laboratory that's going to be uh, landing safely and operate properly. So Comet 67P is going to get a visitation from a, from a spacecraft probe from Earth. Think about this a little while, and uh, we're going to find out the date. When we know the date, it's going to be 11-11. Amazing that they picked that day. Wow. Let's keep an eye. The Illuminati's at work. The spirit is of, of, of the air. The prince of the, pow prince of the powers of the air are at work here. And we'll continue to monitor this and see if this goes off as scheduled. I'm Pastor Paul Begley. Jesus said, when you see all these signs going on, he said, lift up your heads, look up, for your redemption draweth nigh. I got news. I'm looking for the King of glory. He's coming soon. God bless.